Hello, and today we're going to talk about that rather taboo subject, bowels, healthy bowels in fact, hopefully. Maybe some of you aren't quite there though, so hands up who suffers with tiredness, bloating, can't go, or the occasional bowel, irritable bowel syndrome, which means you don't go for days at a time, and then when you do go, you really have to kind of like run to the toilet. Now for us to be in optimum health, we require a wide variety of vitamins, minerals and amino acids for our bodies to be in tip-top condition. And quite often where we currently are to where we need to be in optimum health, there's quite a bit of a gap. So supplements are a brilliant way of literally bridging that gap between where you are and where you need to be in optimum health. And one particular product that I do want to talk to you about is something I've been taking for the last two years and um, it has made a significant difference to how I feel when I do take it. But before we talk about that, yes, of course, there are general things that you can actually do to help you have a better, healthier gut. And obviously, not eating after eight o'clock um, at night would be a general good one. It's a bit like that going to sleep at 10 o'clock four times a week. If you can kind of eat not after eight o'clock, um, at least four times a week, then you are going to feel a lot better. If you do feel peckish after eight o'clock at night, then a nice big glass of plain water and wait 20 minutes and see if you really are hungry or if you're actually bored and you actually want to do something else. So obviously cutting down on the sugary stuff, cutting down on the uh, fizzy stuff, cutting down on the processed stuff is all going to help along with your two litres of plain water every day. But your body actually needs um, whole foods, which is what some of the supplements can be. Some supplements out there are um, quite synth synthetic, she says, and obviously have been scientifically made. I want to talk to you about, I'm a great believer in um, algae, whole foods, and one of those products, she says, just reaching for it, is actually the Sun Corella A. Um, this is a Japanese um, health secret that's been around for a long, long time, and most Japanese people kind of like... They are really healthy, aren't they? They look like packets like this, and they're green. I'm just going to show you if I can, close up. They're really tiny. They are green. So word of warning, green going in, green coming out. Okay, a little bit about these amazing little things. They come in sachets like this, and they also come in the big boxes as well. So most people kind of like start off on these, because you're only going to need five tablets a day to actually um, use those, um, to actually have those. And I tend to take a handful uh, now because I've been taking it for some time. My main reason for taking the Sun Corella was to actually boost my immune system, give me more energy, and to actually do a natural cleanse of my colon without, I'm not a great fan of kind of stuffing things in different places. Um, and kind of, I, I'm not a lover of coffee either. So I kind of like to do things as naturally as I possibly can. And this kind of works with where your system is actually at. So you start off with five a day. Now, why does it work over everything else? Well, it's a whole food. It's naturally grown and it's a green algae. So it only grows in fresh water. So unlike the spirulina, which you've possibly heard of also, which is actually on, uh, an algae food as well, the corella is actually uh, fresh water based. So it only, green, uh, only grows in fresh water. And obviously there's no or little trace of salt iodine in the Corella against the other algae, which is my main reason why I like the Sun Corella. But it's also got your vitamin A in there, which from the other clips you would have seen really helps your skin. It's grown naturally in natural daylight, so you've also got your vitamin D, which again from other clips you would have known that a lot of us are vitamin D deficient. I'm really talking about the Sun Corella from a healthy um, digestive track and to boost everything else. I do take other supplements which I will be covering in another clip, but this one is more to do with if you can get your internal body in a better place, then everything else is going to look brighter and fresher. So obviously if you do do dry body brushing, that's going to help the lymphatic system. If you do take in addition to um, other things with supplements, obviously that's going to boost as well. But Sun Corella is brilliant for your skin and also your internal organs because it is a whole food supplement and your body recognises it as a food. It doesn't really recognise it as a supplement, which is again another positive. You've also got your vitamin B12 in there, you've got your folic acid and you've got your iron. So this will help with any chocolate cravings, girls. 
and it will also boost your immune system and help those energy levels. And I have to say that's the one thing I really did notice when I started taking it. As I said, you take five a day and gradually build up. Most people stay on 15. Hand on heart, I honestly didn't hear the person say that to me years ago. And when she watches this, she will burst out laughing. I just heard her sort of say, you can build up to 30. So being me, I just whack 30 into my mouth. And obviously, as I've said, green going in, green coming out. So that's a bit of a shock to start with, but I just felt amazing. And I'm quite highly charged, I guess, energy-wise, but it just kind of makes me turbocharged. And I really do notice how quite sluggish I feel internally when I don't actually have my daily dose. So it's another good reason, it, you know, it's just so simple to take. You kind of like forget you're taking it. And it is literally one meal in, one meal out, hardly any bloating. Obviously it depends on what you eat. Um, but as we all know, you know, we can have good and bad days. So that 80-24 really, really helps. I've probably forgotten a few other bits, but I don't want to make this clip too long. So if you are interested, let me know. Um, it would be great to hear your feedback on any of the clips. And if you want to hear any more, and I look forward to seeing you on the next clip. Take care.